Hello, my name is Lee and welcome to today's video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to get hair from 3D Studio Max into Unreal Engine 4. In order to do this, you need a plugin called Alimbic Groom. So I'm going to leave uh, the link in the description to where you can get that. Uh, you need to download that plugin and install it. Once you have it installed, you can jump back into Max and follow along. For this tutorial, we're just going to be creating a very simple model and applying some hair and then bringing it into Unreal so um, you can sort of get the idea, the concept of what's going on here. So we're going to start by creating a sphere and uh, let's just give this a name for example. It's going to be our head and I'm going to center this to the uh, origin of the world here by right clicking the spinners at the bottom and setting it to 000. zero, zero. Now for this to work in Unreal we need to have a skeletal mesh, okay? So the hair gets attached to a skeletal mesh. So for, to for us to fix this problem, I'm gonna go over here to the helpers, I'm gonna choose dummy, and I'm gonna click and create a dummy. I'm also gonna center this to the center of the world. Then I'm gonna use a select a link, and I'm gonna link this to the dummy. So this is going to give us a very basic um, skeletal mesh. Okay, so now once we've done that, what we need to do is we need to generate the hair. In order to do that, we can click on the modify list and I'm going to press the O key. And we want to choose this option that says um, OX guides from surface. And this is going to generate some uh, simple splines for us. Now you can play around with the different settings. As I said, the intention here is not to give you a tutorial on how to uh, create hair in 3D Max, it's how to get it from Max into Unreal. Now we need to add a, another modifier here, so I'm going to press O. And now you can see we have more options within the plugin that we have already generated some uh, initial hair. But what we need to generate here, or what we want to get, is the OX hair from, from guides. So OX, and then we want to find hair from guides. And that's going to generate our hair for us. Okay, now once we've done that, we can again play around with some of these settings, but I, as I said, I'm going to leave this to you. So I'm going to choose something like this. Now here's what we need to do. We're going to go to File, Export, Export Selected, make sure that you have the hair selected. And I'm going to choose somewhere to um, save this. I'm just going to save this to the desktop. And I'm going to call this hair. And we want to choose the Olympic file. Okay, so the Olympic ABC, I believe it is this one, and we can call this hair and press save. Now we have some settings here. Uh, by default, all this should be uh, fine. So I'm going to press export, and we have generated or exported the hair ready for, um, for Unreal. Now I'm going to hide the selection here, and I just want to get to the sphere. So let me try and get the sphere. So I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to take the sphere and convert this to an Edge Poly. And we're going to select this and choose Export, Export Selected. And I'm going to call this Ball, for example. And I'm going to choose FBX and press OK. And then I'm going to I make an animation so this um, we can see the hair simulate in uh, Unreal. So I'm going to set the timeline to 60 frames a second. Uh, sorry, to 60 frames. I'm going to press the N key to activate the animation. I'm going to set a keyframe. I'm going to move this over to about 30, and then I can move this up. And then I'm going to take the original keyframe over here, drag and click it all the way over here. I'm going to press the N key to exit the animation um, timeline. I'm going to quickly go up to the graphs and choose the graph editor. And I'm just going to make these all linear. Just like this. OK, so now I can take this, choose file. Export, export selected. I'm going to choose ball. I'm going to call this admin. Or animation. 
I'm going to make sure that animation is selected and press OK. OK, now let's jump over to Unreal and we need to set up our scene. So I'm going to delete the floor here as we don't need that. Now what we need to do is we need to set up the project. So we're going to go to edit and we're going to choose the project settings. And over here, I'm going to type in skin cache and we want to make sure that the um, support skin cache is enabled. So when we do that, it's going to ask us to reset the engine and we're going to choose not now. We're going to do that later. Also inside here, we need to choose take animation. Oh, let's try that again. This one here, tick animation skeletal mesh. We want to make sure that this is turned off and we can close this. Then what we need to do is we need to go to the plugins and then from here we want to type in groom and we want to enable both of these options. Okay, we're going to choose yes and yes. And then what we need to do is we need to type in Niagara and we want to enable Niagara and press yes and we only want and we want to enable niagara extra and press enabled once we've done that we can then choose the restart button and unreal will restart all right so now we are back here in unreal and we are ready to go so let's delete the floor again now what we want to do is we want to right click and we're going to choose import so let's choose import and I'm going to go to the desktop. And if you remember correctly, I have the ball. I'm going to press open, uh, which we can see it has done. Um, I just reset or re-imported the model there. It appeared as if at the beginning it didn't. So we can press import and that's going to generate the that's going to generate the skeletal mesh was now i'm going to open up the physics assets and i'm going to press the space bar until i get the scale and i want to make sure that the physics is um pretty much spot on here and that it matches the sphere okay now we can right click and choose import and we want to import our hair and we have some options here and we're just going to press import so now if we place our sphere in the world and we're going to set this to zero 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 just like so we can now start to attach our head to this model now the way we do that is we're going to go to add components and in this list we want to type in groom then we can click and drag our groom asset over here and we want to choose this option that says bind to mesh. Okay, so that basically attaches this to the uh, model itself. Now, what we also need to do is we need to click on the groom and we can go back to the add component and we want to add a uh, Niagara. So we can see right here we have a Niagara particle system and I'm going to press OK. Now, in here, we want to click the drop down and under the view options, make sure that uh, we can view the engine content and the plugin content. Then we're going to choose this option right here, the second one down, that says Groom Asset System. When you click on that, you can see instantaneously that the hair has been simulated. Now, if it is the first time that you have done this, okay, this is the first time that you have clicked on that system, the uh, Groom Asset System, your computer is likely going to freeze for a while. Do not worry. If it is the first time that you have done this, Unreal needs to think about it for a while. Okay, so if, if you cannot click anything, just wait. Now we can see as I uh, select the ball, I should be able to move it around and the hair is simulating. Okay. So let's set this back to 000. Now, if we go to the groom, we can under the settings here, we can see the options for the thickness of the hair. So perhaps we want to increase the thickness and maybe you'll know, have some roots. And now we can see the hair is, oops, if I select the base, you can see that the hair is actually moving along. Now we can see this a little better if we add our animation. So let's set this back to the center of the world and let's right click and we're going to choose import 
and then we're going to find the animation so ball admin fbx i'm going to press import and then under the base here there we go now if we were to press play so let's jump over here and choose simulate we can see that our ball and our hair is now working So with that being said, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, bye bye for now.